Round two, here we go. Bonner comes out swinging. Both fighters seem comfortable to keep the same pretty quick pace that they've had throughout the first round, starting here in the second. No man seems to be slowing down. There has been a lot of exchange of the front kick in this contest. Part. Bonner has Parnell in trouble here. Had him in the corner, had him running the ropes. Parnell circles back out to the center of the ring. Parnell's corner is calling for him to blitz. Uh, Parnell seems pretty content to stand back and counter the, be the counter striker. Bonner on the attack again. Teep left, right. Straight right misses for Purnell. A couple of slapping outside leg kicks for Brandon Parnell. Parnell has his back on the ropes. Bonner stalking, grinning. Body shot lands for Bonner. Body shot lands for Parnell. Oh, huge head kick. Brandon Parnell goes flying into the ropes. The ropes bounce him back up. Bonner is dropping bombs, has him in the corner, and is pressing the attack. He smells the blood in the water. Kick after kick. Parnell goes down. Bonner lands the first, first knockdown. Parnell is up on his feet. Referee Fred Griswold is still counting. Parnell signifies he's ready to fight. All right, 10 second clap, and we're back to action. I really wonder if Parnell is going to come, uh, Bonner's going to come out and push the action this last 10 seconds. And that is round number two. Here we go, round number three, third and final round. Men come out, touch gloves, and immediately go to work. There seems to be a sense of urgency in Brandon Parnell. With after being dropped in the second round, I would, could clearly see why he's feeling this way. I feel like Parnell has definitely got to pick up the pace a little more than he already is. He has to win this round. He needs to, he's got to go for a finish, in my opinion. Oh, wheel kick by Brandon Parnell that misses. Eli Bonner is still attacking the legs of Brandon Parnell, inside and outside leg kicks. Eli still manages to be the aggressor. Beautiful lead leg kick from Brandon Parnell. That teep that Bonner has been throwing has been his main weapon all night long, and he has found a home for it right in the center of Parnell's chest. Massive red whelp has appeared. On cue, another one lands. Parnell with his back up against the ropes. Bonner flurrying again. Lands a check hook on the exit of that exchange. Another teep lands. Jump knee misses. Oh. 
It doesn't look like fatigue is playing a factor in this fight at all. Both men seem to be definitely have full gas tanks left here. Bonner presses again. Parnell with his back against the rope eats another teat. Parnell is starting to push. Continuing to exchange. Bonner with a body shot. Parnell with a body kick. With 15 seconds left in this one. And here's the 10 second clap. Both men still throwing leather. I love this when I see this. 10 seconds left. It is go time. Both men swinging. Parnell goes down again. Referee Fred Griswold rules it a slip. Now we're just going to have to see what the judges thought about this fight. It was a highly contested fight. Beautiful action throughout. Ladies and gentlemen, after going the distance inside the island fights ring, we consult the official scorecard to determine a winner. All three judges are in complete agreement, turning in identical scores of 30 to 26 in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Eli Bonner! Eli Bonner, unanimous decision winner here. Beautiful performance for this young man out of Florida to improve his record to three wins and two losses.